Gary. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Can't complain. But, you know, first I want to ask you one thing that really, you know, I feel like over all the episodes and we're all getting to watch them and you all are getting to watch them too, as the public is, how has it been for you with the reception from fans and supporters and gaining new supporters and fans as well? Um, yeah, I think that for me, it's, it's been really great to know that, you know, if I were to have a larger audience, there would be some response to what I'm doing. So that's very um, positive. And so that's been really fun uh, to, to kind of be a part of and, and have. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Is there any like certain story or someone that has, you know, uh, DM'd you or reached out to you saying like how you've inspired them a lot? Someone that really stuck out to you that you would like to share? Um, yes, uh, there have been a lot of DMs of people. I think what people are connecting most to it was just the kind of the story and kind of identifying with, uh, process behind the clothing um specifically you know i got a really great fan mail from a woman who's a historian and you know uh, a writing teacher and so that was really great i've been getting a lot of um uh doctors and nurses reaching out i think because i talked about wearing things under your scrubs or something. So I've been getting a lot of wonderful emails from, from them. And, but it's kind of, uh, and a lot of young people just kind of relating to, you know, how, how they want it would like to create. Um, and then, uh, and yeah. That's awesome. That's so dope. Yeah. yeah. Just congrats on everything. I want to tell you like, and again, you know, another winning look, you know, like yeah. I want to ask you with each, how could I say with each challenge, do you have a, like a different thought process sometimes? Because I know each challenge is so different and especially you all don't know what it's going to, going to be. So is your thought process very different for each one or do you try to stay uniform? I think my, well, if for, you know, I have to say during the show is such a unique environment and experience that um, what I wasn't prepared for you know, I didn't have, every time I did another assignment or challenge, I was kind of dealing with other challenges internally and they would evolve. Um, so it's really, would be really easy to get off track, so to speak. But for this particular, uh, when, for the Levi's, when I was very focused on sticking to my plan, um, you know, I knew the runway look would have, could just be anything I knew I could tell they wanted volume. I could mm -hmm. hear certain things from Tim and Heidi and they're not explicit, but they give you clues. <laughs> so I knew they wanted volume and, uh, you know, so I'm thinking I'm going to have, so you're just thinking technically how you're going to do it and then stick. And I knew I had to stick to my plan and any deviation would be disastrous because that is that is what I had experienced in the two two other assignments. I mean, they weren't disastrous, but they weren't they weren't what I wanted them to be. Okay. Yeah, and it, like in Levi's, you know, it's such a huge brand, and it's such a brand that it's so universal for like you know because you have high end design design and you know more. Um, easier to purchase and cheaper for, you know, the everyday person. How, how did that feel though, just to have that, like, and with Levi's, it's just huge, like iconic. Yeah, no, I, you know, I know denim, I know jeans where I've, I've done things in the past. Uh, so I know kind of the language around it. And I think what, what I, what I was excited about this is, you know, I spent a lot of my career in, you know, uh, with meetings with professionals or consultants and you know one thing I always heard is like you know he's not scalable he's not scalable and so this to me was really an opportunity to take um, a lot of conceptual ideas 
um, which is why I love this assignment, you know, because mm. you're, you're, you're talking about avant-garde and then all the way down to like something like, you know, something people wear every day, like a jean jacket or jeans or denim skirt, you know? So that's why I love like the spectrum of this assignment. Was so, so to me, it just made sense. It just was yeah. very clear. I was just very clear about the jacket I wanted to do and the two interpretations of it. Yeah, you killed, like, you did amazing, like, definitely one of my favorite looks out of the whole season, for sure. Oh, like, wow. Yeah, but I want to ask you, like, I know I would cringe, like, we, we were talking before about the judges, you know, because you just don't know what they're going to say, but what judge did you anticipate their, you know, critique? Did you, like, hey, I want to hear from them? Like, every week you were like, I just want to hear from them because I just feel I, I have good anticipation for them. <laughs> You mean like positive anticipation? Yeah, like you were just um, like, I know they're going to give me good loving and it's going to be, you know. You know. Honestly, Nick, I really didn't, I didn't really know with each assignment. I couldn't really tell. I mean, I really couldn't tell if, you know, I, I'm not really answering your question, but to me, I was more, I was more unsure of Winnie, like where she was going to go. Um, and same with Heidi. Um I think I felt really comfortable talking to Jeremy um, more because he's a, he's a designer. And yeah. so, you know, I think he was approaching it from more of a, um, a design point of view. And I really loved his feedback. Uh, but I don't think, honestly, I was necessarily looking forward. And I know you didn't ask me that to... to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really, it was really, really intimidating. Yeah. Really intimidating. Um, and they, they happened, you know, I know Heidi has said this, they happened like sometimes at two in the morning after two days or three days or one day of going nonstop. And so, and a lot of times it was freezing, you know, it was really cold. And um, so it was just kind of like, and you just never knew what was going to happen or what was going to come out of their, their mouths. Yeah, definitely. And for this episode, like, yeah, what lesson did you learn from anything new? Did you learn about yourself uh, just working with Levi's and just with this challenge? Well, I think I learned that uh, I could work fast if I had a specific plan. And for me, also being prepared, uh, you know, like, you know, I prepared for the judging, you know, like I wrote this thing down, I thought about it. It was really fun to do that. And also I learned that all of these conceits in my head, if I, if I kind of take a moment to articulate them and write them down, I can communicate them, you know? Uh, so that's why this was like a really enjoyable enjoyable assignment for me because I was able to kind of see it all the way through yeah no definitely well no you know Gary I want to thank you again for always being oh. awesome you know congrats again on everything I'm so excited to watch even more see what okay. else happens and uh you know stay safe and uh definitely I'm sure I'll talk to you soon <laughs> okay. thank you Bye. okay thanks Gary have a great Bye. one okay okay